spinning silently but deadly through the night, the mysterious Dr. Wahezel and the inexplicable Advic Goose hurtle from one near disaster to another. After a brush with shopping mania and his old foe, the Rapster, Dr. Wahezel has finally gained the parts he needs to repair his damaged wheezed this time space machine. But any chance of a break from the danger looks like it's going to be even more remote than expected in episode one of Dr. Wahezel. Doppel Weasel. Doctor? Yes, Abvik? I only ask if you've been giving it a hammer and a uh, toothbrush for the past week solid. Look, Abvik, the way this is a complex, 11th dimensional, semi organic, hyper advanced, transdentially shifted machine. You don't just fix it up with a quick oil change and a wipe down with some sip with lemon. Yes, I do know that, Doctor. It's just for all this super advanced... Hyper advanced? Paper advanced? Wait, time wheels didn't become a type 4 Kardashev scale species for nothing, you know. Uh, quite. Uh, I was just going to say, for a hyper advanced craft, you seem to spend a prodigious amount of time hammering things. It's almost like you don't actually seem to know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, indeed. Uh, uh, perish the thought. Will it help if I went and got the manual out of the library again? Uh, you can keep it for yourselves. None of the other time travellers ever need to know. Look, Goose, you might have an advanced understanding of mathematics, I'll grant you that, but next to a time weasel, you're still in short trousers. Anyway, I'm, I'm about done here. I'm, I'm going to have a crafty kip, and then we'll take her a little test flight. Oh, would you like me to start working out the same space coordinates? I've been practicing with these etheric beam locators, and uh, I think I'm getting quite good. No, I'd rather you didn't. Uh, no, don't, don't touch anything. Uh, anyway, you haven't got the sympathetic nuclei that I have, so you wouldn't be able to override the isomorphic lockout on the console anyway. Sympathetic? Are you sure you don't mean symbiotic? I am sure in the way this manual it clearly says that- Oh, whatever! Does it really matter, nerd? Anyway, I'm going for a lie down. Don't touch anything, and if you must make a cheese toasty in the gallery again, for heaven's sake, then remember to turn the extractor fan on this time, because really I can't be doing with this sort of thing going on. The cheek! This flipping toasty was making in the first place. Why, I've half a mind... Yes, I remember my instructions. None again, I always think it's a wonder you're able to string coherent sentences together, so who am I to judge? This is not your concern, Doctor. Stay out of it. Not my concern? I should think so, Coco. There's nothing you can do. Kindly vacate the console room. This is my grub locking ways, this Advic, and I'll thank you to take your dirty goose mitts off her shiny knobs and dials. Doctor? Doctor, why, why am I laying on the floor? Why are you hitting me? And, and more importantly, why are you sitting on top of me? I am somewhat concerned that I might not want to know the answer to that last one. Don't you all remember? You're taking leave of your adult senses and we're fiddling with my... MY Weezus's controls! Oh, come on, Doctor, what do you take me for? Some kind of idiot? Well, I didn't want to mention it. I'd remember something as out of character as that. <laughs> Oh, the scanner's not supposed to be able to turn itself on. Well, Doctor, I bet you're surprised to see me again so soon. Not really, and, uh, oh, it's a recording. It's the Rapster! You've your little chum, Abby Goose, to thank for this brief reunion. You see, while I had him fitted with one of my loyalty chips, I took the opportunity to plant a few innocent little hypnotic commands deep inside his mind. He's messed with my mind? Or little there is of it. Oh, and don't worry, it's probably all worn off by now. And thanks to his mathematical excellence, it was child's play to ensure I could override the Time Weasel console lockout and get him to program new coordinates. That clever weasel. Well, all I need to do is cancel the program and... Ah! Oh, yeah. I also made sure to activate the emergency cryptologic deadlock so you can't just cancel the program, which I bet you just tried to override. Idiot. He does seem to know you pretty well. Lucky guess. Oh, my poor paw. <laughs> anyway, I guess by now you're well on your way to your destination, so I'd better sign off. 
But I just thought you'd like to know, Doctor. It was me, the Ratster, who finally beat you. Toodles! Toodles? Shish! I think that's worst of all. Doctor, that sound, it never brings good news. What did I, he, do? Well, as best I can tell from what controls are working, uh, he's sending us back in time. Way back in time. Oh, my stars! Are we going to see dinosaurs? I've always thought seeing dinosaurs would make a big impact on my life. Shocking. Anyway, we need to go forward in time several hundred million years if you want to see any dinosaurs now, I think. Several hundred million years earlier than the dinosaur? Doctor! Is it just me, or is it getting hot in here? It's not your imagination, I think. Well, uh, that's just locked the Weezy's controls onto Event 1. That trendy nightclub in Islington? Idiot. No, Event 1, as in the creation of the universe. And the thing is, the Weezy's force field's not going to be able to withstand exposure to that. What do you mean? I thought she was practically indestructible. Look, we're heading back to where the laws of physics literally melt. Not even time will technology can survive that. I guess this would be a really good time to establish if the Weezys has any escape pods? Well, the Weezys survived the inconceivably hot plank era at the dawn of time. Is Abvik's proverbial goose cooked? Or will the Doctor be able to throw a hyperspanner into the works? You better hope so, or episode 2 of Doppelweedle is going to be a heck of a lot shorter than normal. Doctor Weasel is a Weasel Tell the Audio Enterprises production featuring Randolph Weasel as Doctor Weasel, Coonton Goose as Abvik Goose, and Jerry Rat as the Raster.